Yo, what is going on guys? My name's Defender Machine, and today I want to thank you all for joining me on the second upload for today, which is a top 5 best guns list for the guns in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies, and I'm judging this based off my strategy of what you can see here, basically me running around in circles, and you can basically see the gun that I'm using right now in the number 5 spot, which is the Haymaker, and what I'm going off to judge this top 5 is basically through a lot of factors affecting these guns to make them the best guns or the top 5 best guns which would be first damage, then fire rate, then handling slash move speed, then points and then the ammo capacity and the clip capacity because that can also be a part in actually affecting how the gun performs unless you have the gobble gun to actually not reload and it uses all the ammo that you haven't got in the clip. Also before we start I want to mention that these will only be the guns that you can acquire in the box so it won't be the weapons like on Shadows of Evil the Wonder Weapon that you can actually make. It will be the Wonder Waffer as well, but this isn't even in the list of Wonder Waffer, I'm going to spoil that for you guys right there, because it's not always an insta-kill, I said that in the last video I uploaded today, earlier today, about a secret perk you can actually acquire on this map, which is probably the most useful perk on the entire map because of the fact that the Wonder Waffer is trash now, so a lot of people are going for them headshots with the guns when they're training, but that's basically the reason for the number 5 spot for the Haymaker, it's got good ammo capacity for a shotgun, good for training, good for headshots, overall good gun, and that's why it's in the number 5 spot. Coming in at the number 4 spot is the Dingo LMG, I feel like this LMG especially on this map is tremendously good because of the iron sights and the way you can actually run around with it, it's pretty light for a light machine gun and uh, the word light machine gun in itself is kind of like an oxymoron or kind of ironic because they're not light at all to be honest but it's got good iron sights, I feel like they're not too clunky taking up much of the screen and to be honest the fire rate on the LMGs and zombies right now are really weird, you've got the 6 round burst 48 dredge, you've got the BRM which is a really weird one and it's really inconsistent I think with the headshots and stuff like that until it's packer punched and to be honest when it's packer punched as well I don't feel like it's as good as it should be but the dingo it's all around good it's got good fire rate it deals a lot of damage it's got good iron sights and to be honest it has a lot of ammo as well like for the points and everything you can definitely get a lot of points with this gun and it's definitely one that deals a lot of damage as well which is why an LMG is on this list at the number 4 spot for the best guns in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies Taking the number 3 spot which is actually my personal favourite out of the list which I don't believe to be the best but if I made a favourites list this would definitely be number 1, the Locust, this is definitely, oh my god it's so good, it's like a one hit kill with double tap until like round 25 I believe without being packer punched, really good gun, probably my favourite and most, it feels so rewarding to get kills with this gun, it honestly feels so good because in zombies there is actually aim assist as well so when you actually go to shoot people, or should I say zombies not people obviously because you can't shoot your teammates, it actually locks onto them and it feels so smooth and so slick when you actually get kills the bolt and everything about cocking the gun reloading it and then striking again even if you have like sleight of hand and stuff where you can actually cock the bolt faster it feels like a honestly it feels like a shotgun it's really good you can no scope with it you'll see a few clips of me here just running around and just not even aiming with it because I know the gun's so powerful it will get me killed without even aiming and that's why it's in the number 3 spot really, it's a really good gun and once it's packer punched as well it automatically aims for the head so if you follow the hidden perk tactic like I showed you in the last video if you watched that video it's going to be indestructible especially with double tap I can't imagine this gun not being a one shot kill until like round 100 if you have dead shots you have double tap and then you have this gun packer punched as well it's definitely going to reward you when you're training the zombies around because it gets so many collaterals and that's why it's in the number 3 spot it's a really good gun, the Locust Sniper Rifle. Getting incredibly close to that number one spot, we have the Ray Gun in the number two spot. If you can see right here, the Ray Gun, it's not really been nerfed or anything, the Wonder Waffer has. And the Wonder Waffer in itself was probably the best Wonder Weapon like I stated earlier, so I definitely wanted to include a Wonder Weapon in this list, so I've included the Ray Gun. And I've got a few reasons for this, it's got good fire rate, it deals a lot of damage, it has a lot of ammo in the capacity for a clip or a whole gun for a pistol because predominantly if this gun wasn't a wonder weapon and it shot like normal bullets instead of the rays, it would be classed as just a pistol and it probably is classed as a pistol anyways, I'm just going on a rant about it being a wonder weapon and not a pistol but anyways, it deals so much damage when you actually shoot this gun and that's why it's really good for rape training but when you're rape training as well, it's obviously really good because of the mobility but the point aspect of this gun, I know you guys are probably thinking why is it at the number 2 spot because it's really bad for points but when you get this gun, let's face it, you're not spinning the box like over and over and over over again unless you're trying to get monkeys or unless you already have them in that case then you won't be spinning the box at all because the ray gun let's face it everybody wants it, it makes that cool sound when you get it from the box looks really cool deals a lot of damage and it just mainly makes a really good impression 
to use it in zombies so that's why it's in the number two spot but not quite the number one spot which is the dracon if you can see in the background gameplay i've actually pack a punched this weapon it's the only weapon i've pack a punched in this list and the only reason for that is due to attachment purposes i wanted the red dot but i pack a punched it like three times and i didn't get lucky enough but you can actually get a red dot on this gun and it's basically like a really good version of the shiva it's like the shiva but on zombies from multiplayer transferred but even better it's like you get so many headshots and it fires faster than the Shiva if you have double tap as well. Oh my god, it's like a semi-auto rifle but it deals so much damage and that's why it's in the number one spot. It's really good for rape training and if you're stuck in a corner, it's not like the Locust where you'd have to keep cocking it back. I know it's a really fast gun to cock back with sleight of hand especially, but you can just spray it. You can just spray and pray in a corner and you'll just get like tons of headshots. It's really powerful and that's why it's in the number one spot because it's really good to rape train with and probably the best gun on this map to rape train with because there's no splash damage and it can't harm you in any way only do you good it gets good amounts of points due to the headshots and everything like that and yeah that's basically it so hopefully you all enjoyed today's video if you did slap a like down below and a favorite if you loved it that's the number one spot the dracon hopefully you can tell me your top five down below your personal opinion anyways and if you agree with me make sure you tell me down in the comment section as well so i know i've done a good job on today's video so thank you all for watching again and i'll see you in the video tomorrow or the next day and peace out